Did you know that if you want to change your life, you need to change your relationship with yourself? Many people don't realize that everything that's happening in their lives, everything that has to do with their relationships, their money, their financial abundance, their jobs, their projects, their occupation, their relationship with others, relationship with their families, all of it is in direct correlation with their relationship with self. What does that mean exactly? Let's take a look at the common escape mechanism that our new age community practices, and that is self-love. I love myself, they say, but they do things that are detrimental to their well-being. For example, a person who walks around and says, I am in self-love, I love myself so much, and then they will drain their bank account or they will use every last penny to buy stuff that is meaningless and then suffer from that, making themselves feel awful through using money. That's the relationship with self reflected through their use of money. Many would look in the mirror and say, I love myself. I see the love in my eyes towards myself. But if they stay for a few minutes longer, they start noticing that there is a very critical voice comes up. And that that whole I love myself is not a mask that is being worn between the true healing and the self in real life. For example, that same person who looks in the mirror and says, I love myself so much, and that's the first thing that they see, if they only look in the mirror for two seconds, would drive themselves into the wall while running some sort of project, for example. Be super critical towards, towards themselves. Be super judgmental towards themselves. Nothing is ever right. Nothing is ever good enough. That's the voice of their relationship with themselves, their true relationship with themselves versus that moment or the thinking, the superficial facade of, oh, I love myself so much. These are just the simple examples and you can take a look at how you make yourself feel through your actions. This is the true relationship with self and this is where you see if you do indeed love yourself or if it is just the pretty phrase that's floating and you are repeating it because you know that that's what you're supposed to do. Relationship with self is created very early on and it's based on relationship with the parents. The way the parents treated the child become the relationship with self, whether we're aware of that or not. The critical voice of the mother or the critical voice of the father, the over-controlling, the environment where no mistake can be made, for example, is something that generates that same environment internally and turns into the internal voice of relationship with self. Let's take an example of a relationship with money reflected in relationship with self once again. The way the person treats their bank account or their income or whatever money they get and the way it makes them feel is the reflection of that relationship with themselves. The same with the relationships with other people. When the person is not in a truly caring relationship with themselves, they are open to be treated badly and then walk around and complain about it or keep attracting the mirrors that are showing them that that self-love facade is just a facade and there is a lot of unhealed, unprocessed trauma behind it. Consider that we literally are living in the hologram of mirrors. Whatever is being shown to you is 
the reflection of relationship with self. You did not create that relationship with yourself. It was created by default through the way you were treated by your family or when you were growing up. But now you can pause and start making changes in that relationship. First of all, realize that you have a relationship with yourself. I recently worked with someone who was surprised to hear that she has a relationship with herself. She says, well, I didn't know I, I uh, had a relationship with myself. I wake up in the morning, I take care of my body, I go to work, I come back home, same like everyone else. I had no idea that I even have a relationship with myself. That person was desperately seeking that presence and that connection through external relationships. Codependency with boyfriends, constantly, constantly seeking that connection that she's not even aware is available to her through that relationship with self. Constantly seeking that validation, constantly seeking that presence and the presence that cannot be filled by another is the presence that you give yourself when you are aware and conscious of the way you treat yourself and the way you interact with yourself and with the external world. The way you interact with the external world, the way that interaction makes you feel is the reflection of your relationship with yourself. This is the basic foundation. I have created a um, number of exercises that I can offer to show you how that relationship with self was created and then to build a new model. That would open the door to starting a new, fresh relationship with yourself that would eventually going to be reflected back to you through your external environment. It's just like that as you change that inner interaction, the outer world starts reflecting back to you. Does not reflect if it's just a mask, if it's just another escape into I love myself. What gets reflected truly is when you have made these changes internally and notice that you are in truly caring relationship with yourself and you can say to yourself every single day, thank you, you are so good to me. That's the true self-love. Not just say it, but truly feel it. Observe how you handle your life. Observe how you handle yourself. Observe how the outer reality is showing you what's going on internally and say it and truly mean it. And that's when you have succeeded. So if you'd like to take the exercises or go through this program with me, that would take about two one hour calls just to do these exercises so that you can see the program and then you can see how to rebuild or start a brand new relationship with yourself. Reach out to me at isabellagreen.com. My name is Isabella Green. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you next time. Take care now. Namaste.